All right, what's going on, everybody? This is that dysfunctional gamer coming at you from TGN Career Path Video. So, I finally made it through that cave on the on the next go, and I already got my clues. I even did some grinding. I didn't, you know, want to make anybody sit neck through that because, you know, just sitting there grinding out Mesita would be extremely boring to watch. But now I'm ready to go ahead and get into the next part of the story. So what I have to do, this place is frozen up. Um, where I really need to get to is off to the east, but the ocean is frozen over, the boat can't move. So now I have to go and mess with the weather. So I have to head to this desert area in this new town, and uh, eventually I will end up getting Ren on my team. Because he is the individual that can fix up the game, or the, the, the weather control. Now, when I was mentioning earlier about Ren, uh, the frick just happened here? Mm hmm. Entered. Is this the right passage? Oh, cool. It's like invisible. Awesome. Anyway, what I was saying about Ren before is supposedly this is a different universe aside from the second and the fourth. Yet, Ren looks exactly the same as the one in number four. Even fights the same, too. Uses big guns. And I find that odd. They're supposedly not related, yet they look exactly the same. Makes no sense whatsoever. But here we go anyway. Continuing our quest for victory. Obviously, I have to traverse another dungeon with lots of combat. But the good thing is that because I grinded out some Mesita, I am actually able to handle these little bastards a little bit easier because I have better equipment for both my characters. Well, Rice only has a better piece of armor, but, you know, something better than nothing. You know those assholes still hit hard. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to go find this new town. I'm going to find some new clues. I'm going to be told I need to get to this cyborg, uh, aka Ren, like I said. He will fix the weather system, which will then thaw out this very frozen town, including the ocean. And then I will be able to get to where I actually need to go. In the land territory, which is where the story will progress further. This is the epitome of an old school grinding RPG. I mean, the story is given to you basically through interaction with NPCs, which, like I said before in my last video, that doesn't happen as much anymore. There's less interaction with NPCs unless it's absolutely forced. But you don't actually have to talk to everyone in it, you know, that you see anymore in order to progress. If you do, if anything requires you to talk to someone, it's generally um, some sort of side quest that you can do for some sort of bonus or whatever. But it's, and lately, it's not anything required. At least in a lot of games that I've played recently. I know there's probably some that it's not the case. But, for the most part, it's kind of moving away from that. Mostly because it's catering to your casual gamers who need everything spoon-fed. Sad to say. But, that's the direction we're taking. So, in the future, when I actually make it into the industry, um, granted, I'll be working on mostly projects that the company says to, but I'll be also working on side projects where it forces you to explore and to talk and, you know, actually interact. And, you know, there, there should be, some people don't like that, but there should be ways to kind of reward the player for doing so. Not just through, you know, okay, cool, you found the next clue, but maybe, you know, get a small item like, oh yeah, here, here's this, you know, this will help you on your quest, you know, a little bit more incentive. Obviously not something that, you know, I'm going to give you a badass weapon, and you can just 
blow the shit up out of every freaking thing that you run into, because then, you know, just it'd be too easy. It'd be boring. I mean, you'd be basically playing a god mode, and then there'd be no challenge in that. I'm getting tired of seeing these stupid rats. Oh, look, I leveled. And like I said, encounter rates are a bitch in these old school games. I mean, it's especially stressful when you are near out of resources, you can't heal, you can't freaking do anything, you're basically just barely scraping by, and just a lot of times you die. And you guys saw last time, I died twice. I got owned in the face two times, and had to repeat where I was going twice and that's pretty embarrassing but it happens these older games do present more of a challenge I mean yeah sure I could have just sat there and grinded and grinded and grinded and grinded you know until my eyes bled and you know my fingers got tired of pressing the same buttons over and over but where would be the fun in that I mean, you play a game to enjoy it, not to just want to, like, shoot somebody in the face because you're bored. <clears throat> okay, so I made it to the desert. And now, I need to get to the city. Oh, controls, how I loathe thee. Joy. One thing I do not understand about this game is the fact that you only get clues as to where everything is in the first part of the map and not everything else. That makes zero sense. And even when you find it, it does not become indicated on the monitor anyway. So it's like, what the hell is the point? All I know is that there's a town somewhere down to the south. <clears throat> there should be a wandering android, cyborg, whatever, somewhere around here. Am I getting lost? Mm, nope. Water is somewhere over here. Oh shit. That is a big mofo. You heal or something. No! Screwy ass controls. There we go. Whew. Close call. Now ponage time. That dude just waggled his finger at me. What kind of shit was that? Some racism right there. Interesting animation choice. Have a giant waggle his finger. There's one thing I do not like in video games, it's desert areas. I mean, I know it's realistic to have a desert space, but I hate deserts. Maybe it's because I was in Iraq three times, but still, I do not like desert stages at all. I love snow stages, though. Okay. So apparently, I should have gone a little bit further to the left. Okay, there's the river, and now where's the stupid town? Give me a town. Give me a town. I want a town, please. <gasps> there it is. Whoop, there it is. And it's the sideboard town. Oops. Let's see here. Let's talk to some peeps. Hmm. Huh. Ah, because you live in the desert, you assholes. Hmm. 
old crazy cyborg. Yeah, I remember seeing that cyborg too. It's some some female cyborg who really <laughs> a cyborg that has big blondish red hair. What the hell? That's hilarious. <laughs> Find Ren. Hmm. That's no brenner. Go get Ren and he'll fix your shit. The one you seek abides in a western cave. See? This is what I'm talking about. You have to talk to people in order to get clues to know exactly where you have to go next. It requires some effort. Or you could just, you know, bust out a walkthrough or something and, you know, cheese dick it, which I guess is completely fine. I mean, I use walkthroughs sometimes if I'm completely lost. You know, I don't want to wander around for hours and hours and hours and hours, so, you know, reference. I'll generally look for a walkthrough that doesn't give me too much information, just says, okay, go in this direction. So I'm like, all right, cool. Go there. It's like, I, want, I found one for this where it just doesn't tell you which way to walk, doesn't tell you every little piece, it just says, all right, you need to go in this general direction and find this. Okay, now navigate this cave. It doesn't tell you which way to turn, doesn't tell you what's in it. No real spoilers, which I prefer it that way if, if I'm going to need a little bit of assistance. I mean, the last town I was in, I didn't, some of the clues weren't, in there like it said so I, I looked some of them up I'm like what that was that's not what they said some bullshit it's definitely not what was said mm -hmm. I mean, these are any good for no don't want to use it if it's a waste all right now, let us go off to the west, because apparently that is where Ren is. And then I can take him to the weather control system, which I probably won't do this time. I'll probably wait until next time. Oh look, more rats. I still can't believe I got killed twice in my last recording. How embarrassing is that? Seriously. Oh wow, I'm an idiot. I did not heal or gather items for my trek. Not smart at all. I think that's the fifth time I've done that tonight. And that's, that's, that's the problem with a lot of newer games. It is a lot easier to get away with not stocking up with items and taking the necessary precautions to ensure that you are going to be successful in your endeavors. Hence, you know, you see me missing out on gathering items and healing. Because some games you don't even have to heal after every battle. I mean, kind of nice in a way, but spoiled much? Completely takes a lot of the challenge away when you have to manage resources. Uh, I know there was one game I've been playing recently where per after every battle, it heals you up automatically. And anyway, it saves you time, saves you money, you know, or in game, in game currency rather. But it makes things way too freaking easy. And tell me, there's seriously not a freaking inn in this damn town of freaking cyborgs. I will seriously slap someone. Where's my fat cat, so slapper? Wow, really, there's no freaking in here. That is just 
deplorable. What kind of town doesn't have an inn? Oh, wait. No, that's not what I was freaking looking for. I was looking for the res place. Even then, that's worse. You're not going to have a res place. It's ridiculous. I'm finna smack a hoe. Oh, look, there's my gay cat. Boom, smacked him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, controls, I hate you. Yay, I'm saved. I don't have to worry about renavigating all over again because that would make me cry a bit. I would literally probably cry like a little bitch if I had to do that all over again. <laughs> all right, let's look at the monitor, let's see where we're going. We know that there's a western cave, and that's where Ren is, so I can imagine it's either in those rocks to the very west, direct west, or off to the northwest, so we shall see. Oh look, I'm hitting hard. I like that. Ponin bitches with my sword. Do 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 do. I love it how I'm walking to the desert and I'm not getting thirsty. And they're not sweating. Oh wait, that's because it's just old school. We don't experience that anymore. All right, let's see how far I'm in relation. I don't want to wander off too far to Nowheresville. Go south, maybe. Do I get to the cave? Nope, I get more combat. Lots of more combat. And another level. I like levels. Leveling is good. This doesn't seem right. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh-huh. This is why I say the monitor is way off in scale. <clears throat> Alright, where's the cave? Where's the cave? There's a temple. I don't think I need a temple. Hmm. One interesting factor of this game is the fact that starting off your initial character obviously cannot use any magic, or in this game, in this series it's actually called techniques. Um, only the first and the fourth game actually used magic, and even then only certain characters can actually use magic. Everyone else still uses techniques. I don't really remember the lore behind that on these games. I just remember that... Really? Two caves? Are you freaking serious? Alright, well, let's check one out. That's blocked and I can't get in, so let's try this one. Hey, what do you know? I can get in. Hmm. This is probably going to hurt. Please don't kill me. Just sit down and let me hit you. Wow. <laughs> Those are some hard hits on them. That's what I like to see. Alright. Antidote. Even though this is probably not necessary yet, might as well heal up. I already know there's no boss in here, but I just gotta find up find Ren and get the frick out of here. Oh yeah. Like a boss.
Oh, that's a lot of damage to me, dickheads. And of course they're ganging up on me. Good. Good. Dickheads keep hitting me. What the hell? Ah. How exciting. If I'd have known it was going to be that bad, I would have spent more time grinding out items and stuff like that. That's just ridiculously pretty hard. Do -do 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 -do. Wow, I'm getting really tired of being poisoned. I freaking hate you all. You're all a bunch of filthy cocksuckers, and I'm going to kill you. Oh my god, they're going to... Close call for Mew. She almost got pwned in the face. Very close call. This is why I said earlier in my last video that this game has major scaling issues. Which it happens. I mean, sometimes the ramp up and the uh, balance is off. I mean, because you see, sometimes I'm hitting the monsters extremely hard, and sometimes I'm barely scratching them. And, of course, the rate at which I get into combat is ridiculously high. Oh, wait, I can't heal because I'm freaking poisoned. Oh wait, no. It's gonna be dangerous, but let's go ahead and attempt to kill them first. Oh no, 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 no. Ah you bastard, son of a bitch. Well, doesn't that suck big fat donkey balls? Does that seriously make me freaking waste? How dumb is that? I can, re I can use an antidote on a dead guy. Ooh, close call. Thank you. Whew. And I just wasted a monomate like a dumbass. Stupid controls. What the hell? Did it seriously just waste my freaking stuff on? Why isn't it working? Holy crap, that was stupid. That was ridiculous. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to come back here, port out, and walk all the way back to the town. This is just retarded. These are a bit overtuned to pwn my face. Oh, oh, fuck me in the ass. This does not look good.
Oh, well, at least it doesn't hit too hard. Yay, it's dead. Day levels. It's not looking good for the home team. So I am out of items. I'm almost completely out of resources. And apparently I went the wrong way. Ugh. Not good. At least I didn't get too many hits off me. No, I just want to find Ren. Pretty please. Sugar on top. And of course, I have to fight every two steps, it seems like. Oh my god, they hit so hard sometimes. Okay. I think it's time to cut some losses and try again. Ah, oh, these controls. That was not cool. On the plus side, it only gets easier because I get stronger. More levels. It's pretty sad because I could have sworn I bought enough crap. Alright, let's see. Where are we in regards to the town? Not even close. It would not be so bad if I didn't have to fight every couple of steps. Because it starts to get ridiculous. Matter of fact, one of the worst overtuned games that I've ever played that had random encounters was Final Fantasy 4 the after years that game was absolutely ridiculous with random encounters you couldn't do anything it seemed like take like a step boom you're already in a fight Pretty ridiculous, mind you. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to end up having to grind out a bit more, and I'm not going to force everybody to watch me do that. So, that said, um, we'll come back to this. If I manage to get through it without you guys, I do apologize. Um, but I will do obviously do my best. Uh, this isn't really much of a story thing anyway. It's just me finding Ren. And obviously things become more involved when I have him go and fix the weather, and then we move on. So, until next time, do me the honor, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time.